Hi, my name is Maribel Navarrete, and I'm representing Ralston High School. When I was nine, my friend asked me what part of Mexico I was from. I blinked with bewilderment because I did not know how to answer her. Later that day, I went to my mother. I said, Mommy, what part of Mexico are you from? The look on her face sent me searching for a way to fix my question, but it wasn't until she answered that I realized it wasn't the way I had asked. Santiago, Chile, and Buenos Aires, Argentina. So I'm not Mexican? <laughs> After that, my mother would fill my head with the stories of my elders, my great-grandmother's search for answers, my uncle's untimely death, the disrespect my family was shown, but because I was so young, I didn't understand what that meant. When I was 15, I asked again, Mommy, can you tell me the story about Abu? This time, I hear words like exile, murder, and kidnapping, and I didn't know what to think, but because I am my mother's daughter and curiosity runs through my veins, this time, I ask questions. This time, hearing words like torture, taken, and broken, I felt an anger that fueled my already fatal pride because I am South American. To you, that may not mean much, but to us, it means everything. You see, I've got two sides. Chilenos are naturally snippy creatures that will tear your heart out with our words and not give a second thought about it. A true Chileno will tell you exactly what is on our mind, even if you did not ask, but an Argentino. An Argentino will soothe you smooth out the icing until it is the right kind of silk. We are storytellers, silver tongues, soothsayers. We know our histories because we lived it. They lived it. 17 years old, I asked again. By this time, the story was my favorite because it is one I knew so well, but this time, my mother said this, friend, secrets, and cyanide. My family was politically exiled from our country because we fought for what they believed in. My uncle and his wife were tortured after they couldn't get out of the house fast enough to get away when a friend of theirs sold them out to the military, and their infant daughter was given to a military family after she was born. No one in my family saw her for 26 years, and my great-grandmother, to this day, helps to search for the many men, women, and children who know the stories that contain words like torture, taken, and Cyanide, did you know about the pistol on his side or even about the cyanide, cyanide, for what would he have needed cyanide? How many tears would he have cried for the pride that he never let die? So to you who ask me what part of Mexico I am from, I will tell you this, Mexico is not the only place with Latino people. I am South American. <laughs>